Simulation has become essential in medical education and training medical students. It allows students to experience new procedures or clinical cases in a safe environment where they are simulated before interacting with the patients or their families themselves. They love hands-on anything. I mean, especially in the third year where they've been spending the first two years in a mostly hands-off environment with some clinical encounters and some exposure, but not really immersing themselves like they do in the third year. So I think they start to get very excited that this is gonna be a truly immersive experience and that our expectation is that they're gonna actually be doing these things. Even when I was a student at Stritch, I remember you know, that concept that simulation is a safe place. and. Um, I think it has to be because otherwise people aren't free to kind of explore and make mistakes without the consequences of those mistakes. So having it be that, that kind of safe place where, where students can make error, like they're more inclined to get out there and try something. Whereas in a, a clinical environment, they might be a little bit more quiet, more reserved. You can watch those students and say, okay, he, the student gets it. They're fully functioning mannequins. Um, so. You know, they're run by a tech and usually a proctor. So, you know, on the other side of the um, one-way glass, you know, we can adjust all of the vital signs to the patient. They have breath sounds, they have pulses, they have everything that is very similar. They can, you know, have cardiac arrests and you can administer medications. And so they can be as high fidelity as we want to make them. So in obstetrics and gynecology, we do a simulation for a pelvic exam where uh, students can practice doing pap smears, um, assessing for pelvic anatomy and any anomalies. But we also have things like Noel who can simulate delivery, also at a higher level or a more team-based level can simulate a postpartum hemorrhage, um, which really allows the teams involved, like the nurses and the doctors and even the NICU team to come together and practice um, emergencies where you really have to have muscle memory for all of that. So that is an essential aspect to being a good doctor is being able to just move through that situation as if you've been through it many times before and simulation really allows you to practice that and to be able to think quickly and calmly. We're doing an outstanding job. The staff is extraordinarily hardworking. The students love the experience down there. So, I mean, I think it's great as it stands right now but it has the potential to be outstanding. Uh, you know, the challenge is uh, time is a big thing. Everybody has places to be, things to do. Um, and, and especially within the Department of Emergency Medicine, it's my job to, of course, do patient care, um, but to balance that with teaching at the same time and you know, helping, giving students the adequate time to kind of ask their questions and, um, and learn what they need to from that clinical encounter can sometimes be, can be a little bit tricky. We need all of that equipment, um, which often does need to be updated and expanded. The more we have, the more uh, simulations we can offer for students here to learn and actually see some of the emergencies and practice how they can be helpful. Um, another thing that we also need is time and uh, our faculty are very generous and experts in their field, but often pulled in many different directions. And so sometimes it can be difficult to recruit faculty involvement for it because it is just volunteer at this point in time. And we're all expected to be in clinic and operating room and teach all at the same time. So that's one of the other stressors. Oftentimes, you know, if you've gone through that simulation, they can be the leaders. They can be the ones that talk to the nurses and the residents and say, hey, you know, this is how I learned it. If you know something different, let me know. But otherwise, this is the gold standard. This is what we should be doing.